here we get a girl and a boy. Here we get a boy and a girl. And here we get a girl and a girl. Now the probabilities of these individual events taking place, because they're independent, we have to use the product rule as we used here and here, and so we have one-fourth here, one-fourth here, one-fourth here, and one-fourth here. This is exactly the same as in this case. So first we apply the product rule, and now we have to apply the sum rule. So what we want is one girl and one boy, and we don't care about the order. So let's take a look at all the four potential outcomes. We can either get a boy and a boy, which is not what we want. We can either get a girl and a girl, which is also not what we want. But the other two outcomes are boy and a girl and girl and a boy. And in both of these cases, we basically get one girl and one boy. Now, these two events are mutually exclusive. And what that means is, if this event took place, this event cannot possibly took play, uh, take place. And likewise, if this event took place, this event could not have possibly taken place. And so because they are mutually exclusive, we apply the sum rule and we have one-fourth plus one-fourth and that gives us one-half. So one-fourth plus one-fourth gives us two-eighths or two-fourths which is equal to one half or 50%. So this is the probability of uh, basically getting one girl and, and uh, one boy. Uh, this is the probability of getting two girls. And this is the probability of example number one, getting two consecutive heads on two consecutive coin flips. So these are the two common rules that we use in genetics.